Well, everybody, all good things must come to an end, and I'm sorry to say it's day five, the last day of Cat Week. <laughs> I did my best to launch Cat Month. I chanted, <laughs> no one joined me every day. But my producer said we have viewers who like to watch other things. So <laughs> our final day of Cat Week is brought to you by Roombas. <laughs> Roombas make a clean getaway on a Roomba. Normally during Cat Week, we just show cat videos, but we have something very special today. For the first time ever, we have brought in an actual cat into the studio. I know, to help us celebrate. The only problem is, it's under the guest chair, it will not come out. And, come on, kitty. Oh, there you are. Hi, kitty. Come on, kitty. Kitty, come on. Come on. Come on, kitty. Come on, oh, uh, get that. Come on, get, get it, kitty. Kid, come on, here's, the, here's my book. Come on. Get the book. Kitties love to read my book. Good. Okay, here's some Ellen underwear. Come on. <laughs> Boy, those are some long paws. Uh, oh, it got. It, <laughs> there. All right. If he's not going to come out, I guess we're going to show some cute videos. This is a cat video with a little bonus cuteness thrown in. It's a cat and a baby. And that's a large cat, too. That's a, oh, that's so, that's so sweet. It's the most patient cat I've ever seen. So, I love all animals. I love every kind of animal. I do consider myself a cat person, but I love every animal. And for some reason, cat people get a bad rap. And there's a group that wants to help change that, and they've put out this announcement. Hi there, my name is Susan Strandul, and I have three cats. And because of that, people think I'm weird. That's why I started Capaws, Cat People Against Wrongful Stereotypes. I have four adorable kitties, Fluffy, Pringles, Mr. Jenkins, and Catty Purry. I also like to have a beer with the guys, and I'm dating a smart, beautiful woman. The other day, I was taking my cat to the vet when a couple of hooligans pointed and yelled, hey, look, it's the cat lady. It's time to put this wrongful stereotype to rest. There is nothing weird about having even one, two, six, eight cats, especially since everyone knows the weird ones are bird people. And I have seen my neighbor Janine walk her cockatoo like a dog. She also lets him sit on her shoulder when she drives. And I am the crazy one for having a couple of cats. Look, cool, Janine, your bird can talk. Well, I don't need a pet that can talk because I have a boyfriend. Oh, and another thing, at night she covers her bird with a towel. How ashamed do you have to be? Uh, tune in tomorrow when we get angry letters from bird people.